Ассаламу алейкум. Здравствуйте. Доброй ранницы. Мерхаба. Good afternoon. I lived more than half my life 11 years abroad. By living six years in Belarus, I was able to be fluent in Russian and Belarusian languages. By living for five years in Turkey, I was able to be fluent in Turkish language. Overall, I am fluent in five languages. Russian, Belarusian, Turkish, English, and my mother language, Uzbek. I have studied 11 schools searching for new opportunities. I love traveling. I travel from one country to another one, from one city to another city. At every school, my classmates asked, Hey, you're here. How you do that? How you, do, how you learn the languages so fast? Is there some technique you use? I used to reply, I have no idea. I didn't know how I do that. As you may guess, they weren't satisfied by this answer. And it was so common question because they couldn't learn one language properly. And here I am, fluent in five languages. This question intrigued me for many years. And if, if you have ever learned a new language or even tried it, you know how difficult it can be. Our native language seems almost built in. We soak them up naturally when we are young. Learning a new language, especially after early childhood, can be a huge task. Burned by long vocabulary list, grammars, genders to memorize, complex cases, and troublesome tenses to master. If I tell you, there's an easy way to learn. Over the past three years, I interviewed and spoke with hundreds of polyglots around the globe via Zoom, Skype, and social media to find what we have in common. The result was surprising, as every polyglot has a completely different and unique approach of learning. For instance, the palgas from the Russia, Alexander, learn the vocabulary and rules right before sleep. Because memories made when people are awake are strengthened during sleep. Or simply, information learned are replayed and embedded in our sleeping brain. As experience, another polyglot from the USA, Michael, learned the language through movies. He watched his favorite movies in a foreign language. At first, we subtitle and then without. The palgas from China, Learn the language by, by singing and listening to foreign songs because music sticks in our brain and which is why songs are so often used in language classes to help students memorize new words. And most people who love music listen to their favorite music songs over and over again until they know them by heart. This repetition with a catchy getting new phrases stuck in your brain. And learning how to use vocabulary in sentence is a key part of learning how to speak in the real world. So songs help us to pick up correct pronunciation, but also to learn vocabulary in context. The palgas from India at first learns grammar. The palgas from the Germany at first learns 500 most frequently used words. Another palgas learns vocabulary through associations. Personally, I do it through traveling. If I ask 100 palgas, I will get 100 great approaches of learning. Then, what do we have in common? One thing I discovered that all the polygons have in common is that we found a way to enjoy the learning process. I mean, if you love cooking, learn the language by cooking based on the foreign recipe. I mean, where the ingredients are written in a foreign language, where the method of preparation is written in a foreign language. Or if you're a bookworm, learn the language by reading favorite books to learn fast and effectively. Just transform boring language learning process into fun and enjoyable activity for yourself. In my opinion, multilingualism is much more powerful than any weapon in the universe. By knowing multiple languages, you can find a great job or traveling, whether for vacation, business, or just visiting family members, friends. It's much easier if you know the language of your destination. The multilingual people can see the issue from all angles because we polyglots don't just learn language, but we learn their culture, history, traditions, and perspectives. As we know that every nation has a completely unique and different views of the world. For instance, while some nations prefer to isolate themselves from the rest of the world, while others, on the other hand, open their border for everyone and share their experiences. Or another example, when the first technology revolution came, when the first steam machine came, some nations considered it as a step for future, as a future job creator, while other nations saw it as a machine that will take away millions of jobs, that would cause disaster, that would cause unemployment. So perspectives differ. 
we don't just learn language, but we train our brain. It's like a brain gym. The more you learn the vocabulary rules, the more you will train your brain, and the more you will improve your memory. John Grandy, a neuroscientist at the Iowa State University, who specialized in brain and multilingualism, explains that learning a new language causes extensive neuroplasticity in our brain. Or simply, when you learn a new language, your brain gets rearranged, new connections are made, and new neural pathways are formed. The experiment has shown that at the early stage of language learning process, every action takes place in frontal lobe, or simply front part of the brain. But as you, might, as, but as you get more fluent in your new language, these process shifts deeper and deeper to other parts of the brain. And this is the point when you realize you just read a phrase or simply answer this question without having to concisely translate it. This shift is so essential for us because it involves creation of new neural pathways in our brain. For instance, just imagine that you take the same road to your work for many years. Then one day, this road is washed out. You couldn't use it anymore. Now what? If you had the right route over the years, you would already have an option in your mind and you could on another road and maybe be at your destination on time. So it's like remodeling the brain that make it much more effective. Learning a new language can potentially prevent or at least delay cognitive decline. The studies have shown, have shown that learning more than one language can potentially reduce risk of dementia and delay Alzheimer's disease. Based on the statistics, multilingual people experience symptoms of dementia for about four to six years later than monolingual ones. Also, there is a region in the brain called control center or CEO of the brain, which multilingual people use for language control but also for non-linguistic purposes, like plan future behaviors, switch between tasks and monitor behaviors as needed. Learning a new language doesn't have to be all about you. By knowing multiple language, languages, you can help others, like helping out refugee in your motherland, or simply teaching foreign language to your peers. I have one question to you guys. What's the fastest way to make 1.2 billion friends? Learn Chinese, yes. N learning a new language gives you uncountable opportunities to meet and connect with others. If you are thinking it's too late, you are probably wrong. We often think that only children can learn languages effortlessly. Yeah, indeed. Children more quickly learn whatever language they are exposed to. But when it comes adding a new one, we adults aren't as much of a disadvantage as you might think. If you practice a lot and immerse yourself in language, you can see the benefits it can bring at any age, especially when you get older. Professor Kurt Richer conducted a brutal study at the Harvard University in the 1950s, where he placed rats in a pool of water to test how long they could survive by swimming around before they gave up. And at first round, the rats on average swam 15 minutes. And right before giving up, researchers take them out, hold them for a while, dry them off, and let them to rest a few minutes. And then put back in for a second round. How long do you think they were able to survive? Another 15 minutes? 10 minutes? 5 minutes? 60 hours. Yeah, 60 hours, the same rats. From giving up to 15 minutes, they were able to survive 60 hours. They pushed their bodies so hard what they used to consider as impossible. If the hope can cause these exhausted rats to swim for that long, how different your life would be if you started believing in yourself. If you believe in yourself, you can learn any language at any age. Thank you.